Fancy a dash of chlorine with your chicken? How about a side of experimental GM veggies? What about chemicals in food that can damage the development of our children? If big business has its way, these items would be on your plate right now. What stopped them so far are our regulations. And these regulations are under attack from the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, or TTIP, the dirtiest trade deal in Europe's history. The TTIP is a free trade agreement being cooked up by politicians and big business, and it's bad news for consumers, workers and the environment. Negotiations are being held in secret, and all we know is what we've learnt from leaks. At the centre of the deal is regulatory cooperation. It might sound innocent enough, but what it means is letting corporations do as they please. Businesses will be able to co-write the rules. And if a business doesn't like the result, they can influence the outcome of the law. Whenever the Commission in the EU gets an idea for new rules, they will need to run them past the US government and business groups first. This is before you or your elected representatives even see what's being proposed. If a business group in the US, say a maker of chlorinated chickens, is unhappy about a submission, the Commission will be forced to report it has a bad effect on trade. Business groups will even be able to make their own proposals. Who would have had the front to put ideas like this on the table? Well, they look pretty similar to a set of ideas that the US Chamber of Commerce and Business Europe have been pushing in Brussels for years. They are even planning to create a brand new body to make sure business gets its way. It will be called the Regulatory Cooperation Council. Their main priority is to protect trade. Regulatory cooperation puts profit before people and undermines key democratic principles. It places foxes in charge of the hen house. A hen house full of chlorinated chickens.